Welcome to Sacramento! I'm actually sitting in my childhood bedroom right now on the floor because there isn't really a better place to set this all up and I didn't bring my tripod with me, um, which maybe was a dumb mistake, but I wanted to leave as much room as possible in my suitcases, yes, plural, suitcases, for all the stuff that I plan to buy. <laughs> Although I just ordered my new computer and I'm pretty much broke already. So I haven't been in America for two whole years. Although I grew up here, you know, pretty much my whole life, 20 plus years, it's weird. Like, I realize how Israeli I am and, and how much Israel has really become my home. You know, everyone here is speaking English. I am really not speaking any Hebrew to anyone. People tell me I have an accent, and maybe I do because I'm so used to speaking to a lot of Israelis and I do see myself mimicking them sometimes. Also, like, customer service, totally forgot about that. I feel like every waiter is, like, almost annoyingly attentive. I was telling my dad the other day and we were at a restaurant and they came over, like, four times to be like, oh, how is everything? How's your sandwich? Do you want some extra mayo? Like, all these things, and I was just like, lady. I mean, I didn't say it to her face, right? but I'm like chill okay if I want something I'll ask you um, but that's America like it's so weird and also just things like getting on the subway people actually you know everyone says New Yorkers are so rude but they're really not like they're really nice and also when you're getting on the subway you stand to the side and let people get off and then you get on and in Israel on the train like you don't do that everyone's just like trying to get on and off at the same time which yes, I realize like logically doesn't make sense, but somehow it works. And if you like don't get on and you're polite and let everyone else off first, like that bus or train might leave you behind. So <laughs> my first instinct when getting on the subway was like, oh my God, I have to get on. I'm going to get left behind. But no, you're not going to get left behind. Like everyone lets people off and then you get on. And just like simple things like that. Or they're like pouring water for you at the table and just these, these small things. Um... But no, it's really great and it's really so interesting to realize how American America is and how Israeli Israel is. That sounds kind of dumb and obvious, but there are these palpable differences. And to know that I really have integrated into Israeli society so much so that it feels a little weird to be here. But everything is still really familiar and I'm loving it. And it's so great to be in this place that I grew up in and I haven't been in for a really long time. That being said, what have I been doing since I've been in America? I've been in America for, let's see, today's the 18th. I came in on like the 10th. So I've been here for a week. I spent four days in New York. It was really fun. Um, my two best friends from high school, Claire and Sarah, came and met me there. One of them lives in Houston now and the other in Philly and we haven't been in the same place for literally years. I think since before I made Aliyah, we haven't all three of us been together. Um, so we explored New York, lots of selfies were taken, um, there will be a vlog episode just about that. And I also stayed in Brooklyn with my roommate from college, Erica, who's one of my best best friends. And um, she's a teacher there and it was just really cool to see where she lives and to get to see her. It's been so long. You know, Skype is not the same as being with these people. And it felt so, like it feels really surreal to be in the same place as them and hang out with them and do things with them. But yeah, so I spent a few days in New York, which is my first real trip, I feel like, where I got to really do New York things. We stayed in line for bagels forever, which is a New York thing. We did some shopping, obviously, ate lots of delicious food, walked through Central Park, the High Line, you know, just your typical New York stuff. And then I flew, I flew home to Sacramento and I've been here for a few days. My dad and I tried to take a trip to Yosemite Yosemite, but it was super raining so I went to Yosemite which was the first time I had ever been there in my life even though I grew up for you know 20 plus years in California so I can say I went there but I didn't really see what people talk about when they talk about Yosemite but it was still really fun to like have a little road trip with my dad tomorrow my mom gets home from Hawaii my mom is in Hawaii with my aunt my cousin and they were um, sprinkling my uncle's ashes in Hawaii. They're gonna be back tomorrow. We're gonna pick them up. I'm off to Berkeley where my grandma lives and my brother actually is now living there too. Gonna hang out in the Bay Area for a little bit and spend some time with them and then back to Sacramento. There will be so much more shopping and so much more eating and then I go back to Israel. So that's all for me for now. I just wanted to have a little check-in with you since I've been gone for a while. 
and I know that I'm just not gonna have a lot of time to edit and to upload so you know hi from America and definitely keep checking in there will be tons of videos from America I have so much footage I need to go through but I'm getting a new computer so I'm trying to wait for that my brother has it for me right now and I'm going to Berkeley tomorrow and obviously the best place to follow what's happening is on Instagram I have been trying to story even despite my limited data situation so go ahead and check that out be sure to subscribe and you know leave a comment or something tell me what you want to see tell me what you want to know tell me you love me tell me you hate me I don't know I don't care just kidding I care a lot I care a lot Mindy should people subscribe to my channel Mm. Ew. Mindy, stop. Mindy, should people subscribe to my channel? Yes? Okay, I'll leave you alone. Sorry. Well, thanks for watching guys be sure to keep checking in I have a lot of footage to go through and I'll have tons of New York vlogs tons of New York vlogs and food vlog and product vlog and maybe a Fenty Beauty special vlog and um, I don't know we'll see let me know what you want to see and be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to check out... Please don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe and, you know, go ahead and click like on this video. Um, I will keep you updated on everything that happens during my trip in America. As usual, Instagram, the best place to keep up with my life, if you want. 
Um, that's at my best bro Amy. Um, I'm thinking of actually changing my Instagram to Amy and Israel to just match the channel and the blog. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, that's it for me today, and I'll see you guys soon.